Welcome to our daily devotion. The Methodist Church of Barbados invites you to sing, pray, and worship with us as we declare God's glory and celebrate His mighty acts. for a night but a joy cometh in the morning there is power in prayer but when we pray as if it was ourselves, we tend to have more faith behind that prayer that god will do what he says that he will do don't pray for an easy life pray for the strength to endure a difficult one these things we ask in jesus precious name amen father firstly i want to say thank you Thank you for sustaining us throughout this turbulent year. Lord, we know of your indescribable power, and we know that nothing is too big 
are too difficult for you. So Lord, we pray for our nation Barbados. We pray for our safety and less violence. We pray for our Prime Minister, dear God. We ask that you grant her wisdom to lead this country efficiently. We bring all those in authority before you. Heavenly Father, please protect them and give them the strength to do their duties well. We ask that you heal all who are sick and in pain. We so anxiously await the day that you swallow up all sickness and death. Touch them with your healing hand, O Lord. Please take away their pain. We ask that you watch over all our families as they leave their homes until they return. Lord, we know how precious life is, and we also pray for your comfort. Please comfort all those who are mourning at this time. Heal the brokenhearted by your grace. We pray with love for those in the world who are hungry. Provide for them, dear God, with your loving hand. We ask that you strengthen those who are weak in their faith and fearful. Show them your perfect love, which casts out all fear. Protect your people, dear God. Have mercy on us all. Use us to do your will. Give us opportunities to help others in need, no matter how small or large the deed may be. We pray for all of our youths. The pressure of school and deadlines is extremely exhausting. Grant them rest, Heavenly Father. We pray that they turn to you, our only refuge during these things. Grant them wisdom and understanding so that they can succeed academically. More importantly, Lord, please let them draw closer to you. We praise you today and always. We pray all these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you on behalf of all of your, our young people in the Methodist community and across the world, seeking your strength during these very tough times. School life has changed and become more difficult. Our patients have been tested in relation to online teaching. And so, Heavenly Father, give us strength and endurance to cope with the difficulties of school life that COVID-19 has brought upon us. Let our hearts find comfort in you, because you are the giver of all things good, and we need your strength, patience, and endurance. Without you, we will fade away. Hold our hands, Lord, and guide us. You are the God of all grace, and your goodness we praise tonight. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. I ask you to fill our lives with your Holy Spirit, especially when life trials and temptations drain us and we feel depleted of all energy. Your Holy Spirit is our source of strength and power. Enter our lives forevermore and keep us moving forward in your name. Renew our prayer life and help us to fully trust you, for you are the God of our salvation. Lord Jesus, I thank you for being our tower of strength. I pray these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Dear Father in heaven, bless us this day that all the persons of COVID-19 will be healed in your mighty name. Bless everyone, both young and old, in your Methodist churches, that they will be safe no matter where they are. Bless all the children and young people around the world. Help us to hold on to your promises and to never give up on your word because it is true. Continue to bless Barbados as we celebrate 54 years of independence. Lord, bless all families in Barbados that they will trust and believe in you. Bless us in your holy name. Amen. Almighty Father, I come before you with humility, aware of my weakness, feeling defeated and uncertain. Lord, it has not been an easy year, and this was not an easy week. I bring before you the youth of the Methodist Church, exhausted, troubled, weary, ill, and undeserving of your grace. You sent your Son to save the most sinful and troubled among us, and it is upon this mercy that we rely. Father, wash us with your Spirit, and give us strength to begin anew. Feed us with your word that we may be energized, educated, 
and equipped with the tools to live for you. Father, I pray for our leaders in the church and in society. We understand the difficult tasks that they have before them. We understand the uncertainty and fragility of the times we live in. But we pray that you strengthen their will and resolve. We pray that your spirit be with them and that they would not doubt. We pray that they would have courage to stand up for what is right and never give up. We pray that they would have the endurance to suffer the consequences of straying from what is popular. We pray that we would have the endurance to follow them on that path. We pray for the endurance that you gave to our ancestors who never gave up, who never stopped believing in themselves, who never stopped believing in their worth, who never stopped believing in us. We pray for the confidence to stand behind our decisions, to trust you as you lead us, to believe in our own ability. Almighty Father, I pray that you fill us with the energy of the Holy Ghost, that we may be able to do whatever we are called to do in service to you. In the name of your Son, our risen Lord and Savior, who came as a babe, suffered injustice and condemnation as a man, and will return once more. Amen. Endurance. Dear Lord, I pray you will take over this message. I pray that you would speak through me. And I pray that everyone that listens will be encouraged, dear God. Holy Spirit, speak through me. Take over my mouth, everything. I just want what you want to be said to go for. In Jesus' name, let your will be done. Amen. The main text is taken from Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And it says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. What is endurance? 
In the Bible, enduring is more than putting up with trials or adversity. It involves our heart, our mind, and the way we react to hardships. The person who endures is showcasing courage, steadfastness, and patience. Endurance keeps persons on their feet, facing the wind. It is the virtue that can change the hardest trial into glory because beyond the pain, it sees the goal. And in the Bible, in Judges chapter 8, the battle was growing. The Israelite soldiers, led by Judge Gideon, had chased their enemies, the Midianite army and their allies, all night for a distance of some 20 miles or 32 kilometers. The Bible then relates, Gideon then came to the Jordan and crossed it. He and the 300 men with him were tired. Nevertheless, Gideon and his men had not yet won the war, for about 15,000 enemy soldiers remained. After having suffered years of Midianite oppression, the Israelites knew this was no time to give up. So, to eliminate the army, they kept up the pursuit and subdued Midian. We are also fighting relentless battles. Our enemies include this world, Satan, our imperfections, and sin, among many other things. But through Christ, we are always victorious. Although sometimes we might get tired of fighting our enemies or, for, or of waiting for an end to the systems of this world or right now to the end of the COVID-19 protocols, Jesus warned us that living in the last days that we will face a lot of trials but he said that it's our endurance that is going to bring us our victory and we see this in Luke chapter 21 verse 19 which says by your patient endurance you will gain your souls. Christian endurance is motivated by love as seen in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 and 7. Verse 4 says, Love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous, or boastful, or proud. Verse 7, Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. Love for God motivates us to endure anything that is in harmony with His will. In Luke chapter 22, verses 41 to 42, we see, He walked away about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed father if you are willing please take this cup of suffering away from me yet i want your will to be done not mine you see the endurance that jesus showed here was he wanted to see god's will done above his love for our brothers helps us to endure their imperfections god also promised us that he will make a way out Whenever there are temptations, God will make a way out. He knows our physical, mental, and emotional limits so intimately. He will never allow a situation to develop to a point that we cannot remain faithful. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, we see the confirmation of this. The temptation in your life is no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted more than you can stand. When you are tempted, He will show you a way out so that you can endure. While you are enduring, you have to nourish yourself with spiritual food. We have to nourish ourselves with spiritual food. We can't listen to others speaking negatively. We can't spend hours watching meaningless entertainment to drown out our realities. We cannot look at the size of the trial, but we must stand still and know that God is going to work out our situation. We must feed on the word of God, meditate on it day and night. Like the Bible says in Joshua chapter 1 that we should meditate on God's word day and night so that we could study it and we could do what it says and then we will have good success. We must also pray, seek God, renew our mind. And when we take the time to put God in our situations, He always gives us peace during the storm. And this also builds up our faith. When we read the word and see the miracles that Jesus did for others, faith rises up within us. 
For example, when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, he made a blind man see again. God protected Daniel in the lion's den. He helped David defeat Goliath. All these wonderful miracles God has done causes us to see his mighty power. I mean, look at what God did for these persons. He will do it for you. Even right now, just, just begin to say, God will do it for me. Because when we pray, remember, he says that we have to believe that it's going to happen. And when we ask for something, we can't doubt in our heart that it's going to happen. So I want to encourage everyone listening to me right now to have some mustard seed faith as you endure. Whether you are being persecuted for doing right at work, at school, in life. Endure. These days will get worse as persons turn away from God. But we must continue to stand for righteousness no matter the punishment. Endure. Press on. God will come through for you. Remember this. God will come through for you. He is not a man that he should lie. He will come through. God bless you.
Brothers and sisters, go now rejoicing in God and delighting in all that He does. Stand firm in the grace found in Christ, so that in suffering you may grow in endurance, character, and hope. May God crown you with glory and honor. May Christ Jesus bring you to the mercy of God. And may the Holy Spirit pour love into your hearts and guide you, that you may serve and bless those around you as Christ has blessed all with life abundant. Go in peace to live the church. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the people of God say, Amen.
Thank you for being a part of our daily devotion. We trust it has been a blessing to you. Now together, let us hold fast to his word and may it dwell in all of us richly.